Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Jenny sharing a review on the Chanel belt bag from 21K. This is not an unboxing because I've had it for three months now, but I want to show you what comes with this belt bag. I bought this at my local boutique and this is how the SA packaged it for me with the little bow strap out like this. I was really happy that it came with the black flap dust bag instead of the cloth one with the drawstrings. I just think this material feels a lot nicer than the drawstring one. They also included a little felt cover, which they don't always provide. I like having this extra protection while it is not in use. It has a magnetic closure, which I definitely prefer over the button ones. This is lambskin. It has champagne gold hardware. As you can see, the quilting continues around the back. I just think it's so cute, like a micro version of the classic flat bag. This of course comes with the authenticity card. Since it is an SLG so it isn't chipped, I like to also keep the tag in here as well. Again, this is from the 21K collection. I purchased this in late October of 2021, so I want to give you some close-up shots of the wear and tears. I have been using it consistently for three months. So far, it looks like I have scuffed the edges of the flap, one more so than the other. I'm honestly not even sure how this is happening. I have been taking it with me and dumped it into a larger bag a few times, so I'm probably going to stop doing that from now on. Here is what the inside flap looks like. You have the Chanel logo on the back, two grommet holes, and Made in France printed below. Just to show you quickly, the grommet holes allows the chain to glide very easily back and forth like this. I want to give you a close-up of the chain. It is skinnier than your classic bags, which goes nicely with this micro bag. The bow in the middle with the CC logo, and the other end has four rings for clasp to hook onto and I will share the sizes of it with you later. The clasp at the end has Chanel on one side and CC on the other. Just to show you close-ups of the back and also the bottom of the bag, there's really no other visible wears that I could see. I do think the quilting is a little less puffy and I don't mind scratches on the lambskin. It reminds me of the reissue bag and I think it also adds character to it. This bag is wearing quite well aside from the tiny scuffs so I'll be a little more mindful of the edges next time I use it. There are two different ways that I wear this bag. The first one is as a belt bag. Like I had previously mentioned, there are four holes at the other end. The first hole closest to the bow gives you a belt length of 32.5 inches, the next hole at 35.5 inches, then the next at 38.5 inches, and 41.5 inches. So the holes are spaced about 3 inches apart. I absolutely adore this bow detail. Look how it can dress up the back of your outfit. I also like to wear this as a crossbody. When I tried this on at the boutique, I made sure I liked how it looked and felt this way before purchasing it. Again, having grommet holes on this bag is a pro in my opinion because it gives you the ability to move and adjust the chain however you like. So in this case, I can adjust the bow so that it lands on my shoulders and I can show off this detail at the front. Moving on, trying to keep this video somewhat short, here are three short clips side by side to show you the bag empty with one open pocket and the serial number is on the inside. The spell bag can actually hold 10 credit cards but right now I have 5 in here which is all I need and still have room for cash or a mini lipstick. I'm going to scroll through their website to show you what they are featuring right now. They're still showing some of the previous season belt bags on here along with what has been released and what is released now for 21P collection. I will link a video above of what I also found at the boutique with model shots and videos in case you're interested or thinking about buying any of these. I definitely feel like Chanel will continue releasing more micro bags like the Chanel belt bags or a clutch with chains. They are at a better price point than the seasonal and classic bags, nonetheless still very expensive. 
I believe there is a classic belt bag that's still being released and that retails at around $16.25. And honestly, depending on the embellishments that they add to it, it could also go upwards of $3,000. This one that I own retails at $19.75. It was honestly a little more than I wanted to spend on something so small, but as I've been using it, it really fits well into my lifestyle, surprisingly. It's my grab-and-go bag. It dresses up my plainest outfits, but I also wear it under a coat during the winter, and I can keep all my credit cards close to me or hidden away, which is also nice. Well, that's it for the belt bag review. I hope you found this review useful. Let me know if you own a belt bag or are thinking about buying one. I love to hear what's on your wish list and also your thoughts. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like.